Hey Aries and welcome to your monthly love tarot messages here for the month ahead. We're going to take a look and see what the cards are predicting for you in terms of love and romance. Of course these messages are going to be general guys so please just keep that in mind. If you're interested in a personal reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So these messages here are intended for Aries Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching as well. <clears throat> So, what messages are you being guided to the Aries? Right, the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. The Three of Wands. Um, you've got the Hierophant here, the Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Cups and the Devil. Okay, first of all, you've got a few consecutive numbers there. 789 okay so uh, this may be a reference to you've got a bit of glare as well it might be annoying some of you hmm. okay so th this might be the 789 might be a reference to dates um, this month here so there could be some sort of special happenings or important occurrences you could receive some message or some incoming communication from a connecting romantic energy from a past energy um, from someone whom you're romantically connected to there may be there may also be some um, strange occurrences some coincidences some synchronicities around these dates it could also be a reference to timing especially for those of you that are expecting some sort of communication or you're waiting on some sort of um, you're waiting to receive an answer or communication or response from someone or you're waiting for someone to make a move I feel like the number seven eight or nine are really important and standout dates for you or again they can be a reference to time so seven eight nine a.m. seven eight nine p.m. seven eight nine hours from the time of this reading just keep an eye out for those um, important key numbers there um, but what I feel like is happening for you this month here um, Aries you've got You've got a few things going on. First of all, let's talk about this um, stagnated energy that I'm picking up here in your reading. For a lot of you, maybe you're in a relationship um, that feels a little bit stuck. It feels like it's not really going places. You feel like maybe, you know, feelings aren't developing or progressing as they should be. Or you feel like your, you know, your romantic interest isn't as... Um, isn't as uh, forward or as, you know, um, action oriented as you want them to be you want them to be maybe they're holding back a little bit maybe they're afraid here but i feel like a sense of stagnation maybe it's the stagnation here and lies with you here aries maybe you feel as though you know you're the one that's personally stuck here in some areas of your life or you feel as though you're you feel a stuckness in your relationship and you're not sure what you you know you're attributing um it to for the for a lot of you i feel like it's important to not look um, for like do not place the key to your happiness in someone else's pockets make sure your happiness he doesn't rely on external factors okay so the reason why your relationship may feel stagnated may not actually have a lot to do with your romantic um, energy it could have um, to do with you Aries maybe you feel you know afraid here of expressing your feelings or you feel afraid of the relationship failing or you, you're just as afraid of success. So um, there is a need for you to maybe look within here or try and understand the situation before you judge it here. Just understand it better. For some of you, you're also, I did mention that I get a sense that you're waiting for something. Now, it's okay to wait, but for those of you that are waiting for a communication or for a response, I do feel like that's coming in. But for some of you also, I get, for some of you, you're in a place where you don't have to take any action because that communication or that person um, or you know the very next steps that you have to take that's going to be become uh, made obvious to you um, throughout the month but for others of you I feel like you're going to have to take some sort of action to generate some sort of result here to, to help it along so you know two very different spectrums um, which one are you on it depends though because for some of you you've been waiting for something too long it's like you've been waiting for you know you've been waiting to hear from someone from a past energy and you feel like there's still something there you know you feel it deep down inside that the two of you haven't fully explored the connection or there could be something salvageable or repairable if you feel that way and if you you know if you truly feel that way and your feelings um, are sort of validated and confirmed maybe it's best for you to do the reaching out here um, or at least put yourself in receptive mode whereas for others i honestly feel like you're in a place where um you're in a place where i feel like 
communication he is coming to you or i feel like there's energies here that are coming towards you he something that you've been waiting to manifest on is happening for you whether or not you're ready he aries okay so a relationship a person coming from the past someone with communication someone who's um, going to message you i also feel like even um there may be a lack of readiness on this person's energy so this person may reach out to you and may connect with you despite them you know feeling like they're ready but they're not so maybe the readiness or the lack of isn't with you it lies with this person so you know if you do expect this if you do expect to hear from communi uh, communication from someone and they do reach out to you that doesn't necessarily signal that they're ready to move things forward okay it just could be you know that this person obviously has intention to communicate with you and has intention to maybe try and reconcile a difference of some sort but i don't know that there's a lot of readiness to push forward here You've got the three of wands and I feel like some of you need to step outside of your comfort zone. So again, that could have a lot to do with taking action. Some of you are in a stagnated relationship and if you don't do things to help this relationship along, I don't know that there is a future here because some of you have been, you've just been stuck. You've been in a relationship that may be going around in circles or isn't, you know, progressing, isn't going very far um, or your feelings, you know, you feel as though feelings haven't necessarily been developing or the two of you, you know, aren't really getting to know each other. So there's a need for you. You might need to take a different approach. Um, you might need to communicate with one another differently. You might need to knock down some boundaries that the two of you have set up. But the three of wands is about, you know, it's about progression and forward and momentum and expansion. So, you know, some of you, I feel like, need to expand your energies as well. And that comes with, uh, you know, thinking differently or thinking outside of your comfort zone or doing things differently, taking a different approach. Um, it's the need to push outside your boundaries okay push outside your comfort zone as well because i feel like there is the only reason a relationship he feels or an energy feels stagnated whether it's yours or theirs not because there isn't potential there there is guys but i just feel like someone is a little bit scared so they're scared of commitment or they're scared of rejection they're scared of they're scared of something here and if someone can push past those fears and if someone can eliminate those fears i really feel like this relationship and feelings can really go places here so it's the fear of it's the actual fee the fee itself here is keeping someone or something stagnated and if you can push past here areas of this person of yours can push past their fees i really feel like this has potential to go somewhere at least further along than it is now um for some of you i do feel like there's a potential for commitment here this month or there's a potential to at least commit to something commit to working through something working something out you know working out a past mistake or working through a past working through a solution or you know coming to a re resolution or you know uh, reconciling the difference so there's an opportunity to either offer or an accept an apology put forward or an accept an explanation or to work on something okay because it's it's a very it's an energy that i like because it's sort of it's it's a very neutralizing or stabilizing kind of energy. There's an opportunity for you to do that, um, with regards to a romantic energy or romantic connection this month. Um, I'm seeing you need to invest in yourself again. There's a reminder for you to not put the key to to your happiness in someone else's pockets. Okay, if if you rely on someone or something to make you happy, then you will never truly you know be con content. You'll never truly be happy because you'll always be reliant on external or outside forces and those external or outside forces you know will always influence your mood and dictate how you feel so some of you need to stop doing that okay some of you need to stop you know trying to rely on that person for your happiness um or try and rely on that job or whatever it is for your sense of happiness you need to start looking inwards more because therein lies the answers i'm seeing some sort of emotional message okay it's either coming from you or or this message is coming from someone so i feel like someone he has an emotional message someone he wants to either tell you they have feelings for you or they want to open up to you um i feel like yeah this is it's going to be quite it's a weighty message where i feel like if you're the one receiving it it's it might catch you off guard or it might like evoke a strong emotional response within you or if it's you delivering this message to someone it might elicit a very strong emotional reaction within the person here some of you also i feel like you need to with the devil's energy here some of you i feel like are maybe stuck um you're either involved with someone who is um reliant on some sort of substance okay or you're involved in a relationship 
in, that isn't entirely healthy, okay? It could be detrimental to your health and their health and to just to the overall health of this connection here, especially with the devil's energy. So some of you, I feel like, need to cut or eliminate some, some element of toxicity within a relationship. It could be that the two of you are just too co-reliant on each other, or it just could be that aspect that someone here is too reliant on external um, you know, forces for their happiness here. Um, I feel like there's something here that needs to be eliminated because it's sort of detrimental to the to the health of a relationship or to the health of a connection. So someone here may be reliant on um, something like an outside external factor and they're reliant on that thing to, um, with regards to the success of this relationship, if it makes sense. So if the relationship isn't working, it's not because, you know, um, it's not because something from the outside is dictating it that it's not working. It's because maybe the two of you aren't, you know, putting enough effort or the two of you aren't really committing to trying to make it work. It, it comes back to, you know, the both of you and what you're doing to try and make it work. But I feel like someone else is maybe trying to shift the blame on, you know, why this relationship isn't working or why it's stagnated or why it's not going places here. So there's a need to sort of, you know, dissect what it is that's, you know, not healthy. And it could be just an unhealthy way of thinking. It could be just like self-limiting or just negative beliefs that are unfortunately negatively impacting the relationship. So whatever that toxicity is, that needs to be eliminated because that is detrimental, okay? It's not serving any purpose to the relationship. In fact, it's probably hindering the connection. All right, Aries, and these are your messages for the month. Um, thank you guys, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking, sharing, or um, commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so do stay tuned. And those of you that do want a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care, guys. Bye for now.